Hi, pals. <clears throat> Hi, pals, and welcome to the Disneyland Paris show. Here's your hosts, Lucy, Chris, and Hugh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> And now, Disneyland Paris News. Movies, movies, movies. Let's go on an adventure. And that's a wrap. The Witching Hour. It takes a village. Eat me. Make mine music. Hey there, hi there, ho there Disney fans and welcome to another Disneyland Paris show. This week I am so excited! We have got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of news for you tonight. We've got a lot, a lot of news. Um, and it's, do you know what? It is mostly good. There are two things I'm not happy about slash excited about. Oh. Every other thing, and there are dozens and dozens and dozens I am very, very enthusiastic about. So we'll get to that as it goes. Um, but before we get going, let's see who's in the chat, because it takes us a while if we wait too long. <laughs> Who are they? Get on. Today, first in the chat was Joey, who says, Hey, lovely, is ready to be taken to Disney Adventure World tonight. Whatever does she mean? Uh, does the she name mean? for the new kids' soft play area, I mean studios. Hope you've had a great Disney-filled week. The Dunn family are second in the chat. News, news, news. Second. Slip in. I know, you slip in. We've got John. Hey, everyone. Hyped for tonight's show. Bonnie is here, under Lucy's name. Don't be confused who says hi, and uh, she's all set up with a new coaster that Bob, who who is also in the chat, got her, as well as a clock for us for our anniversary. He's a good egg. I it? haven't seen this clock. Oh. I was meant to be a surprise well, yes. on the show. Well, we'll have a look in a bit. Um, <sighs> right. Uh, yes, and uh, we've also got Ruth and Faye and Lauren and Jim, Jimmy with the pink hand, famous, the famous pink hand, and Andrew's here. Should be a quiet show then, says Andrew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello to Ed and Jen and Nick. And uh, Nick says, we watched... Wish this week also had a question about lack of Donald Duck merchandise in DLP ahead of our planned trip in July. That's funny because the first time we ever went in about 2003, mm. 2002, 2002, Two. Yep. I got a Donald Duck pen that made a funny noise. <laughs> so uh, we've got Bob and Moritz and Lisa and Sugar Sweet Samantha, aka Sugar Sweet Mama, and Don and Cheryl and Wits Wanderlust and this message held for review and Emma. Oh wow! What did you write? Is it is it rude? It'll probably be rude. Right, I'll keep it to myself. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have got lots and lots of news coming up tonight, as I previously said. However, there's something we need to deal with first. Oh, it was the because... uh, eat me. Okay. Thing uh, made uh, Sugar Sweet Samantha laugh. Hugh. Hello, Katia. Told Bonnie earlier in the week that there was news about DuckTales, <laughs> but that she had to wait until the live show. And the poor kid has been wittering about it. So please put our daughter out of her misery. What's going on with DuckTales, Huey? Hello, David. Um, there is uh, some re-theming going on at mm. Davy Crockett. Um, Davy mm. Crockett Ranch. Ranch. And um, part of that theming, there's going to be, what's it called? I can't remember. Something I told you. Woodchuck. Woodchuck. <laughs> Junior Woodchuck. Junior Woodchucks. Yeah. Uh, which is something to do with DuckTales. But the thing is, Chris and I both had to look it up because even though Bonnie watches DuckTales literally every morning, I must have missed the Junior Woodchuck aspect of that show. It's funny because... So that... if, if they're, if they're re-theming something with elements that we've had to Google, is that a good thing? I think it is. Actually, <laughs> it, it seems to be all the, the um, subtle, the nephews and niecey ducks, doesn't it? So it, then maybe it should be wood ducks instead of wood chucks, mm. possibly. So but is this theming? Is this it's, artwork? It's, re- it's re-theming. It's going to be the next one to shoot, isn't it? After Sequoia? No. Before Sequoia? Yeah. Okay. The next hotel to close for refurbishment is the Davy Crockett Ranch. Now let's Who just... had that on the sweepstake? I know. It needs it. I, it for- does, I forgot well, it was it there. it. <laughs> yeah. Do you I know haven't. what? I forgot it was there, and I just want to declare, and now you've been. told me it's there, how much I care about David Crockett Ranch. But seriously, we should go there next time. Because yeah. didn't, yeah. didn't we enjoy it? We yes, loved it was good. It. Yeah. Didn't we enjoy it? We went it. to Christmas. Didn't... I just wish there was, uh, like, 
they, they made some kind of uh, tunnel where you could just walk to the park from there because you you could walk, but you can't walk because it's dual it's... carriageways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, also, it's not easy. It's not impossible, but it's not easy to walk from your cabin to the main building either because there's not really footpaths on the side of the road. It's like being in America. It's times like this that I wish they'd invented teleportation so that you could just like teleport wherever you wanted to go, whenever you wanted to go. (laughs) I spent my entire childhood wanting this to exist and imagining that it did exist and it still doesn't. Teleportation. We might have AI, but we can't teleport. I remember when I like... Before I drove, I had to walk quite a long way to a bus stop and then quite a long way from a bus stop to where I worked in the dead of winter, just like daily praying that I could learn to apparate. Mm. Mm. I wish that we could all apparate. It would be fun. Fun story. Wouldn't it be fun? Oh. Unless you spl- spliced or whatever apparate. it is. I would be, right. I would be sidelong apparating us all the way to Disneyland Paris every Sunday to do the show. The, li- money, life you'd save, the money you'd save on travel if you if Dr. Dre, don't possible. just stand there, apparate. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't it? Um, John Park said, we stayed at Davy Crockett December 22. Nice, but the beds were awful. Glad they, they're fully replacing the cabins. Mm. Yep. Um... <laughs> yes, we we yep, really yep. like the setting. I I have no like love for the cabins themselves. I don't dislike them. They were a little bit dated and tired. I can see why they're refurbing them. But the idea of staying out of the park in that kind of foresty area is gorgeous. Yes, really nice. Very nice. Very 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 nice. So the, and now people are talking about other things. So I will move on. Uh, love David Crockett, but wish they were doing the Sequoia refurb next. Yeah, I don't know. I'm dreading Sequoia shutting, to be honest, or partially shutting or shutting in stages. I think that it will impact prices. It will impact availability. Well, but don't don't you think Davy Crockett closing will impact prices as well? It's going to be it's going to be I, an interesting one because I guess your people from there are going to go. No, there's no Santa ne- Fe now, are they? There's no need to um, close <clears> massive <throat> amounts of that at the same time, though. They can refurb five cabins at a time without really... Is that really... what they're going to do, though? Okay, fair I enough. mean, there will I... come a point where they have to do the main building a bit. We will go into the studios soon, guys. But I... I yeah, I, I guess don't... My, my straight impression was, oh, they're just going to shut the whole thing down. But obviously... They're basically static, this... car- static caravans with extras, basically. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think that they'll do the majority Count of Count the old ones off-site. out. From the ones yeah. Um, Hugh, this is all part of the same... Um, April twelfth press is. release though. So I know it. I know it is. I know it is. I'm just. Uh, not, and I just know that there are some people who who, who like think, oh, it's a funny one to lead with. Well, <laughs> but I mean, we're, we're just lead with. we're just easing you there in. There was no other news this week, so you yeah, know, it's, been, it's been quiet. Before we get to this, because I know every, I like to in, increase the suspense. Uh, there was a philosopher once that said, um, <laughs> "Positive naughty, suspense, naughty, very suspense no. is better than disappointment." I think is the phrase. Oh, right. Something I th- like that. I thought you were quoting but Ebenezer Good. I am bare thirsty, Huey. Bare thirsty, as the kids would say. All together. Well, you made yourself a beverage. Now drink it up from your tiki 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 cup. Chris is in a silly mood today. I am in a bit of a silly mood, and I'm not entirely sure why. Let's see if we can uh, swan him down with this Vive Twisted Fruits Zero Sugar. Is this the one you've said you've had before? I've had it before. I haven't had it before. It's basically the Twisted Fruits fa- uh, Fantar. Three, two, one. Nice. What, what is it? It's orange and kiwi and uh, peach. Look at the colour of that, guys. It's pink, listeners. It's passion pink. fruit. It's very tasty. It's, it's, it's very, very tasty. We have this regularly in our house. We have a problem with uh, the lip of this, Huey. Could you... Oh, that's great. Grab it is great, straw. yeah. Oh, this is going to go very nicely with some of the... Um... You're going to cut it with some... Spirits I've got later in the year. Ah, oh, something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. Hugh's now disappeared off to, to get a straw for Lucy, for those of you listening. Oh. Right. So Next. What, what are you all drinking in your tiki cups, guys? What are you drinking? Bonnie's drinking orange and pineapple and lemon juice. I think this would go really good with an, as an ice cream float. Mm. I think it'd be great. Or, or as a mango whip float. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. It's really good. It's so really t- this is a taste. This is a taste sensation, not sponsored. Uh, available now at Aldi. Mm. Wow. And no sugar. Wow. Ruth's drinking a pink gin and tonic. I like your style, Ruth. That is I good. I like your style. What? I had uh, too much wine gin the and tonic day. last week as well. 
Yeah, she says, as always. Uh, Sugar Sweets Month is nice. a cup of tea and a bell mug. I like that. So there's a moment. Um, I've just seen someone's comments there. Joey's just put a comment. So there's a moment in the new Bluey uh, towards the end of it. Uh, it's a 23-minute special, by the way. Mm-hmm. And we watched it this this evening uh, whilst we had our tea. And there's a moment <laughs> it's when quite I, an event. It, well, well, it is. It, it is an event. It's a, it's the second Bluey drop in two weeks. But this one's an, an extra long episode, 23 or 24 minutes. And there's a moment in it where I really got really quite emotional and I thought it was fantastic. And so any of you who are Bluey fans, a new one's just come out yesterday, I think it was, or the day before. And it's well worth a watch. It's really good. It's such a good program. And I need to get on this Bluey bus. Oh, you know? man, you really do. It's good. Bonnie, uh, Bonnie, get your get your parents to watch Bluey. We bon- have done. Bonnie we have was done. in watch it. More. I just when when stuff like that comes on TV, I tend to go and do housework. I don't care. like Hugh sits and watch ki- watches kids TV with Bonnie, so he knows. Well, about I'm it. normally writing scripts. Yes. Um, right. Okay. Should we? <clears throat> shall yeah. we put our listeners I, out of their misery? I think my problem today is that I'm overtired and I'm overcompensating by by trying to be fake awake. So. I apologise because anything could happen, and it, and it probably won't be humorous or anything because I, I don't tend to get funnier as I get more tired. Bob's Just, hang it uh, having scotch and Sprite Zero. That's ooh, interesting. that's interesting. That's a gentleman's drink. I know. Well, is it? <laughs> and a child's drink. Listen, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm normally the the tangent king, but can we get on? Okay. <laughs> there's there's about. a lot of news. Okay, I have to do these things in order. That's a wrap. Um. Studio One had its closing party Ooh. on the 12th of April, mm. a red carpet gala night to say goodbye to Studio One. Oh. However, fear not, Studio One doesn't close till the 25th of April. It's a bit of a red herring, that. <laughs> but it, it had it had Mickey and Minnie in their Hollywood outfits. Oswald. And it, Oswald, lots of, and Donald looking all dapper in his kind of white director's outfit, and lots of lots of rare characters. They um, put the red carpet down in Studio One that they sometimes do, and and you may have heard on the twelfth of April there was also a press event was in that? which in which they told us some things. Did they? Yeah. Should we talk about some of those things? Nah, I don't think anyone really wants to know. I think we must. Is, oh. the, is the main one the name change? That's you you've got to, you can't Gosh. lead with that. You have to finish with it. You have to build up to it. That's what literally everybody has done yeah. with this. Well, I'm finding out. Are we building up to it? Are we say, saying it now? Well, we're, we're not, not we're, building we're, up to it now. You've just told them. <laughs> I've changed the you've, name. You've read it out as well in the chat right at the yeah. beginning of the show as well. So, I mean, it's not like it's yeah. top secret. We all know. We do. But most importantly, Nick is having Sprite with no alcohol and Pauline, Pauline is making a brew in her mini cup. Nice. Right. So as <laughs> Hugh just told you, Walt Disney Studios Park has changed its name. To? It is now Disney Adventure World. It's not now. No, it isn't. It will be though. It will be. And it ha- it's going to be still going to be Walt Disney Studios Park for quite a long time because it's going to officially change its name the day that... And this is kind of a spoiler as well. The world of Frozen opens, has its grand opening. We speculated about these names last week, and I even made a little reel a couple of days ago um, on you our did? socials uh, mm-hmm. about it. And actually, we we got quite close. At one point, I said, "What did I say? Studio Adventure." So the close. The you thought close. is that it no longer reflects what this park is. So. The Walt Disney Studios Park is no longer a studio that is no longer showing the operational operation of cinema making, making of movies. That is yeah. correct. So I can see why they changed it. So we know, we were joking that it's IP land, but that's what it is. And what I'm quite happy about it. It's going to be a place where there are lots of small nuggets of mini lands um, themed specifically towards Disney movies. And they've called it Disney Adventure World. Okay, boys, discuss. Disney Adventure World. How do we feel about it? I think we've also got a logo, Christopher. Oh, yeah. So there will be spoilers here because I can come in and show you these, but I don't know what order the pictures are in because I threw them together in the last couple of minutes. So you're going to see things in the wrong order and we're going to scribble through them all and find them in the right order at some point as well. Well, let me just say, I quite like the name initially. But uh, then I became worried that it was uh, not unique enough when we've already got 
Adventureland. Yeah. Over in the main park. We do have Adventureland. And we also Adventure have California World, no. Adventure. California Adventure. And then there's Chessington World of Adventure. Well, the, the, and... the California Adventure, I guess, fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Adventureland versus Adventure World could get quite confusing when you're talking to people about where something is. It's also like the fact that Disney World is called Disney World and Disneyland is called Disneyland is deliberate because of the size and the like multiple parks aspect and the transport system. Yeah. And that's kind of what makes it a world as opposed to a land. And I think Disney kind of I'm being a bit pedantic about this, but I think these these kind of things matter. Um Disney then taking what is the world's smallest Disney park. I don't yep. know if it still will be after its expansion, but it is at the moment. And calling it a world, I think is a bit much. I think the word adventure is okay. It's not my favourite. This is one of the two things I'm not terribly happy about, just so you know. Um, I, I'm. We'll get used to it and I'll forget about it. And it's just, if I'm being really pedantic, if I'm sitting in the boardroom with a load, 12 other people going, let's think of the best possible name for this park, I think I would have had my hand up going, that's not it. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best. I mean, let, there's a starting start of a 10. Yeah. We could, we'll stick with it for a little while, see what else comes along, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I think it's it's fine. Um, I think, uh, yeah, Emma's just said in the chat, I'm guessing that all the areas in it will now become World Of, so which is possible. Mm. World of Frozen, World of Pixar, Worlds of the Bride's Land. <laughs> That's when it true, comes. but we've already got Avengers <laughs> Campus. World of, of Marvel. Plaster Remy, you know. Here's the thing for me. With this whole expansion, where in the changes that are coming to this to Studio Plaza and stuff, which I guess we'll talk about as well, where does Tower of Terror fit into that, and how long is it going to be before they announce the retheming to Guardians of the Galaxy? Ugh. Because it doesn't fit where it is with everything else going around anymore. It just mm. doesn't. It, it won't work. Well, I, I'm going to pull back on that a little bit. Should, should we move on and we'll get back to that yeah. particular thing? Yeah, because let's put a pin in it. We'll put a pin in put, that. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. Bloop, bloop. So, um, yeah, and it, this won't take effect until they open the world of Frozen. So the, what we learn then is we've got a load of concept art for how they are going to upgrade the studios. Now, this is marvellous because up to now it's been like we'd... we'd making this boulevard that goes to a lake and that's a new bit and you get Avengers Campus and we got Avengers Campus and we got the boulevard and the lake and we didn't really know that it was going to be a full park retheme. Now we know that for definite. I could not be happier. I oh, am it like, makes I'm a lot like, of sense. This it's exciting. Is, it's really exciting yeah. and it's really levelling up to use a, you know, Boris Johnson term. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that worked, didn't it? How are we feeling about levelling up, guys? Anyway, it's really kind of upgrading things and Mm -hmm. and it's also it feels like they're doing it because they want to create the highest possible quality not from a cynical money grab because at the end of the day they could leave things as they are uh, and not affect the bottom line but they're going no we we want to make this the best park in the world and i'm really really on board with that yeah so we've got loads of concept art that goes with it um i'm just going to ask you chris to start with studio one okay studio one is going to become world premiere and the premise is that you enter Studio One um, and you are going to a premiere in Los Angeles. So this is out. This, not this. Next one, next two, and another one. There we go. Okay, okay. This is inside Studio One. So they're going for this outdoor, indoor thing. If you remember, the theming of Studio One used to be that this was like a warehouse where they put all the old sets and props. So it was deliberately very... Um, Earthy, is Set, wrong? Setsy. 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 But it, it, <laughs> oh, it's it dead was, Setsy. It was, I'm bringing Setsy it was back. very real and literal and sort of touchable. This is going for that gorgeous thing that I love it when Disney do, where it's the, taking the outside and putting it inside. So this is a nighttime vista um, on a boulevard in uh, Los Angeles. They've kept all the facades pretty much unchanged on the left, uh, but now they are not meant to be sets. They are real buildings on the boulevard. And then on the right, they've rethemed Restaurant de Coulisse to uh, Hollywood Garden Restaurant, complete Hollywood with twinkly lights and Garden fake trees. Restaurant. Yep, because they're going to put bring the outdoors indoors outdoors and bring indoors. trees and things. It's a wet set as well, so every now and again they'll make it rain just so you get soaked. Nice. <laughs> Um, I would and then love that. <laughs> at the end of Studio One, they are, 
um I can't see it from here on it because the thing's small and mm. I don't have my glasses on. But I think it says Disney Premier Theatre or something. So yes. it, the big facade at the end is set up like the entrance to a movie theatre and you walk through it as if you are going to a movie theatre. Uh, yeah, as if you're going into a movie theatre for a premiere. I think this is so clever and I was one of the few massive fans of Studio One and when they said they were closing and retheming I was like no but I think they couldn't for me they couldn't have done anything better than what they've said they're going to do here because they can keep all the things I love they can keep the live music and the band and they can keep the swirling lights and all that exciting thing when you go in um, and you'll get the lovely cool air conditioning that make you feel like you're outside. And it also takes you thematically into the rest of the park and makes sense. And Lucy, Happy. what fantastic name are they going to give to this new part of the park? I already said. World Premiere. World Premiere. So this is where the title Adventure World makes sense because this is the world and it's going to be... Pre- the Premiere of it. Premiere. It, it, but as a place, it isn't a thing. I, know, I said this to Lauren, she said World Premiere of what? Yeah, like, yeah. It sh- should it be called Premiere Building? or You know, it's just something a bit more yeah, well, ordinary. So, something French even could, could work here. Building like, de Premiere. Because the word yeah. Premiere is in French. <laughs> <laughs> Well just call it, premiere. I, I don't know. It just, it just feels like what? Yeah, I know what it? you're saying. It's like it, to the point where you'd said it as you were talking about all this then, mm. but it just went straight off my head again, like it did when they were announcing it as well. It didn't make sense to me because they said it'll be a world premiere. If another <laughs> guest like, oh. came up to you and went, Chris, 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 because they know your name, yeah. everyone knows your name. Chris, 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 I'm desperate for the toilet. Where's the closest toilet? And you here now gestured and went in world <laughs> premiere. <laughs> You know what I mean? They'd go, what? That that <laughs> sentence makes no sense. In world, pre- what? In world premiere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it? I said to you this week, you. I'll meet you in World Premier Plaza, and we can walk down to Adventure Bay together in time for our reservation at the Regal View. This is what we've got to look forward to in this yeah. park now. Mm. The, the, to be fair, world I Plaza. always found the. Well, I never used them. I never used the zones in the studio parks at all. So we had production courtyard, tuna studios. I did say Studio One, actually. Studio One, Studio yeah. One. I also mm. always got Animagique Theatre and Cinemagique Theatre mixed up, so I didn't really use that. I would say the one with Mickey and the Magician in it. You know what I mean? So I always found the areas a little bit confusing. Yeah. Um, I I agree. This is odd. They couldn't give it a building name though because they're trying to they're trying to suggest it's not a building. Yeah. If they called it Hollywood Boulevard or something like that, or Premier Promenade, as Lisa Premier says, Premier Promenade would have been good. Or Hollywood Gardens because like there's the Hollywood Gardens yeah. restaurant in there. That would have made sense. It would feel way more in. Place. What about way in? I think Bonnie doing Year Five English would be able to tell us. Are they are they replacing a noun with an adjective? Is that what they're doing? You know what I mean. They do it. They they're replacing an action word with a place word. This, this it doesn't is make sense. Something that, in spite of the fact that I'm quite good at English, I always get verbs yeah, and I nouns do. and adjectives mixed up. Um. So yeah, I I think that looks absolutely beautiful. It does. I'm delighted about it. I agree with you on a purely linguistic way. The name is odd. Yes. So let's then go through. I that think door. people will just end up calling it the Premier Building. Yeah. One of the things that's interesting about this, by the way, I know you mentioned the Disney bit at the at the bottom there, is if you go and look through places like DLP Report or other places that have reported these things, a lot of these props and things are already built and they've got pictures of them already they, mm. in place. You can get a proper idea of what they're going to look like when they're put in, which is mm. quite cool. It also implies that they're going to move at quite a lick of a pace to get this all sorted out. Well, they? Studio... <clears throat> uh, it's Studio One. <laughs> Studio One. Calling it Studio One. Andrew calls it Premier Inn. <laughs> World Premier and Premier Plaza should be finished by spring 2025. That means 12 months from there now. Go. There you are. Which by Disney standards is lightning fast. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so, the, but I just don't think they could afford it to be later. It's going to be very disruptive, isn't it? Yes. Um, right, so... Backwards to get to these ones, is that right? The day-night yeah. ones, is it? Go backwards, yeah. In reverse. I'll do so the day one is, first. There you go. Yeah. 
this is Premier Plaza now. Now, structurally, there's very Ooh. little difference, except that we've lost um, Monsters, Inc. And we've gained trees. And we've gained a lot of trees. <sighs> yeah, and I wish they wouldn't do this, because I always complain about this, but they put so many trees on the concept <laughs> art that it's always disappointing when you see it in real life, because it's nowhere near as lush as it looks on I, these concept arts. supposed to be, I think the what plan is, to be doing. I think like, the main USP that hopefully. we're saying is they're going to add foliage to create shade, well, so I, hopefully that'll be yeah, quite accurate. I hope it's as much as it, as it is on these pictures, that's the thing. Now, what, what they do, this is called Premier Courtyard, is that right? Yes, Premier Courtyard. Um, and it's meant, you're meant to emerge into what they're calling the theatre district. So they've really leaned into the theatre thing. So they've got marquee canopies on the front of World Premier. Mm. Um, they've got new marquee canopies on the front of Anamagique Theatre and Cinemagique Theatre. They've also got like, it's not red carpet, but it's like a, a paved entrance can you see, I don't know if people can see going into the two theatres. They've added these like walkways that go in that oh, make, yeah, okay, it, yeah. make it feel like an entrance. In the corner a, of where we are. Yeah, to in, a posh the theatre. Yeah. That's right. Um, and <laughs> this will sort of go with the way that they've um, narrowed the space using the trees and they're going to pave it like pavements instead of concreting it like a road Ooh. Um, to sort of zone things off and split the crowds. I think there's a bit of crowd management going on there. Now, the Tower of Terror, let us not forget, is called the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Yes. And when this was described, it said, <clears throat> so you step out of world premiere into Hollywood so that's what they're imagining that you are doing here. So okay. the fact that Hollywood Tower of Terror is directly in front of you, I think whilst I agree it's a little, it's probably more convenient for them than anything else. There's it also means they can there, explain it. Like, that whole boulevard is not going to be what it is now. No. All the rest of everything's going to have gone from there and the view ahead is going to be the castle and then you've got yeah. that in front of it. Bit yeah. Weird bit weird it's a very popular ride oh, it's yeah. um i don't think it could be guardians of the galaxy now because um avengers campus has got an actual entrance and because this is now in what they are calling hollywood i don't think they would be able to guardians it i think yeah. it's not ideal but sometimes you've just got to work around what you've got good leave it i Should, like it the other thing i found find interesting about it though is we're getting this um adventure bay thing and we're going to have all these different worlds around it. But the view from Adventure Bay going back is the back of Tower of Terror. That is tricky <clears throat> because we used to have this studio thing. You could have exposed like panel mm -hmm. work, couldn't you, in the past? I mean, it's not horrible, the back of it, but yeah. it's, not, it's not a great... It's not a weenie, particularly from no. the back. So I think it's maybe, just... Maybe they will do some subtle line of sight yeah, stuff possibly, with trees yeah. and yeah, I don't yeah. know, perhaps. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, just let me find all my details. Oh, they're going to do a refrontage of Studio D as well, because that was that was meant to be like the, the back entrance to a studio. They're not doing that. They're putting a proper theatrical entrance on it um, to keep in with the theming. Animation, Celebration and Tower of Terror are to stay the same, and this area should be open with world premiere spring 2025 Ooh. should we have a look at it at night time let's yeah let's back forward <sighs> andrew and pauline have both pointed out that adventure bay is on paw patrol it is yeah it is that that is the name of the place in paw patrol so that's good mm. yeah I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that that looks very nice all purple i wonder if they are planning purple lights or if that's just artists being artists Artists gonna art. Artists I, I have to art. say though, look, I, I love the transition between these two pictures. I know, yeah, it's um, yeah, there's something very yeah. aesthetic about do that. Do it again. Oh, uh, do it several times. If you are listening, not watching, night. by the way, guys. Day, night, seamless, beautiful. Hugh is going to put all these pictures on Twitter under the hashtag. Oh, am I? <laughs> you tend to hashtag ah. Oh, I don't go on Twitter anymore. Do I have to go on to? Oh our, no, onto okay, our account? you're right. Hugh, Hugh's boycotted. Uh, Musk's empire. Well, well I, I, can, like no, I, I, I can go onto our account. Uh, put, and... put it on the Facebook. Let's, well, let's start putting it on the Facebook instead okay. because that is what we use. That is the right place for it to be, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's boycott Twitter. So those people who are listening, not watching, this is going to go on the Facebook group. Yes. So you can be able, you'll be able to look at all these as you listen. 37 Disney Street hyphen the Disneyland Paris show. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, I just search for the Disneyland Paris show. Yeah, just... I normally find it. Yeah. It's there or thereabouts. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I always get mixed up between that and our own account. Our own account, yeah. Seven Disney Street. I always click the wrong one first. Me too. I, I also do that. <laughs> Emma's saying Tower of Terror might slightly obscure the view of the world of Frozen as you come into the park to give a big reveal after you pass it. I think you're saying that's like a positive thing, don't thing. you? Yeah, as you walk be. towards it, it's like something reveals itself. That could be nice. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be hard for them to move the entrance to Avengers Campus if they made the Tower of Terror Guardians. It wouldn't be hard to move the queue entrance, but like that massive jock-off building, still going to be where it is. Still where it is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Probably um, what happened. Pro- Pauline doesn't not. blame Hugh for boycotting Twitter. It's a cesspit. I, <laughs> I call it a toilet on a daily. <laughs> Hashtag non, not spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not spawn. Um, right. Okay, let's go on to the next one, Chris, if we may. Next oh, yeah. slide, please, Christopher. Uh, uh, which one is the next one? It's the, well... It's what I have been calling the boulevard for many... Oh, no. This is what I'm saying. Oh, right. So, no. Go go back. back. It's going to have to be the tangled one then. I thought we had one of the boulevard. I don't know. There might be, but... No, there isn't. But I didn't know which way you wanted me to go. It was like a surprise. It's fine. Um, so that, oh that's that's the other bit that you wanted to show by the way oh yeah so you put that picture in so Disney Theatre World Premiere that's like the big facade at the end of World Premiere or what we are still calling Studio One for clarity so then it's like you walk into yeah. World Premiere Plaza yeah. if you're actually going into a theatre so yeah, that's yeah. where the magic begins uh-huh. that's kind of cool it is really cool but then you're going from fake, <laughs> fake indoors to nighttime to real outdoors I think, that's daytime, like, daytime. I think that's like going through the wardrobe in Narnia you okay. know I, I can take that oh, it's that like would be good wouldn't it wouldn't yeah. that be good if yeah. the entrance is a wardrobe a, a Narnia theme park but like the only entrance is just one tiny wardrobe entrance and everyone's got to cram through it oh the queues right so what up to now we've been referring to as the boulevard or the promenade or the street that goes to the lake they have now given official name to it. It is going to be Adventure Way. Again, I think we might be <laughs> flogging this horse a bit fast. A little bit over the top with yeah. the adventure stuff. And as you walk down it, on your right, you will see Rapunzel's Tangled Spin. So they're using Rapunzel's French name, but they are using the English for Tangled Spin, which is mm. interesting. And this is basically a teacup ride with Rapunzel's boats. Is it going to be as fast as the teacups? I, I, that's not something they answered. Because um, mm. it's supposed to be like a journey to see the flying lanterns, which mm. have now been banned everywhere because they set fire to bands. But um, it, that kind of suggests a nice relaxing thing where everything is moving around quite slowly. But then you think, well, what's the point of that? It's a bit boring. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I want to know how fast this ride is. To like I don't, st- fit in with the theme. I don't need any more spinning rides. What if it's like the Cars one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just whi- whips you around. You can't even see the lanterns. How much fun would that be, though? Now you're here. Um, it looks beautiful. The boats look beautiful. The sky, the ceiling looks beautiful. I, I, I think it is a pretty look, basic ride. But this is the kind of thing that it's, it's a good day filler, isn't it? Looks a bit like the uh, uh, teacups, you know, mm. with, with the lanterns and yeah. Like the same ride, yeah, but different seats. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I like that ride, so good. It'll do, yeah. That'll play. <laughs> That'll play. Uh, Lisa says, "I love the hashtag I saw online because Rapunzel only has toilets and a basic ride, so it was hashtag Justice for Rapunzel." Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Finally, some recognition. Yeah, she needs it. She ne- I mean, it's. I still think it's a great that's, film. That's the best Disney film of the last twenty years. Oh, personally, and I agree. Good. I, I also agree. Um, when you get to the bottom of Adventure Way, we're going to get used to these these things. Um, you will get to the Regal View Restaurant, uh, uh. which is going to be a character dining. Uh, restaurant, so it's going to be signature dining overlooking, yes, let's say what it's going to be called, Adventure Bay. Um, and you can also, it's going to have VIP viewing packages, so I presume that these are more expensive meals. Um, so you can watch the nighttime show. So we now have absolute confirmation from a regal view, and therefore mm. they call the restaurant the regal view. I think Isn't you, that beautiful? You can also see... Uh, what an imaginative name. You can see the castle from Arendelle, so you can see kind of a, a royal palace. A royal palace. 
Um, it, it I just, like that name. And, well, I have no problem. Yeah, with it that sounds name. all right, but it just it just sounds expensive. It, yeah, it does. It, yeah, you, you know you can't afford to eat here. No. <laughs> Get yeah. back to the hot dog stand. The, it's <laughs> know your place. I think if it still I've exists. Made this point before at um, the Studios Park in that you've got you you very low on restaurants and. You used to have Restaurant de Stars, which is now Pim Kitchen, mm-hmm. and you would have uh, Bistro Remy, or Remy Bistro, Bistro de Remy, yep. which were both really expensive restaurants, and all you'd have would be Restaurant Calise. Now, since then, they've reopened Stark Factory, because that was shut for quite for longer than Pim Kitchen was, I think. So at least you've got two big quick service things, but they're just going to add another signature dining. So where's your kind of like mid-level, where's your Lucky Nuggets? Where are you looking nuggets? Where are you looking nuggets? They're in Frontierland. That's also a very fun thing to say when you're from West Yorkshire. Lucky nuggets. Aye. We went to Upper Cumberworth yesterday. Upper Cumberworth. And I really, str- I was trying to not sound Yorkshire when I said Upper Cumberworth, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Upper Cumberworth. Upper Cumberworth. <laughs> um. Yeah, but that's good to know. More character dining, which I think Disneyland Paris is sadly lacking. What? Which characters? I believe it's going to be a princess restaurant again. So now this princess restaurant in the main park and in this park. Yes. But they're very popular. And and in the other park there's the Cinderella's table mm-hmm. and there's I guess Lumiere as well because that does Beauty and the Beast type stuff. So is this going to be very very specifically Rapunzel and Tiana and I seem to remember this it, l- l- I seem to remember hearing before it was going to be a bit Tiana themed. Mm. Now, they haven't said anything about it, but it looks quite Art Deco. So I'd like it to be Tiana and do you know who else? Louis. That's who I'd like. That would be cool. That would be cool. That, that would be really cool, actually. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll allow it. St- I just want to distract myself because STG89 has just said, Hi all, thinking of getting DVC. Are you still happy with your resale choice? We can't decide direct or resale. We love watching your videos and we love the content. The reason I just wanted to call that Hang out... Hang on. Love your shirts, Hugh. Love your shirts, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a goofy shirt today, listeners. From Gina, Gina and Steph, Steph from London. I've just come up from London uh, 24 hours ago I'm going down there in 48 hours. Oh, that's exciting. Oh. Um... Right, Gina and Steph, I want to answer that question, but it's been a really heavy news day, so can you ask it again at uh, 9.25? <laughs> when we finish all news, because I'll forget you've asked it, which is why I'm saying, so just ask that question again in 20 minutes and I'll answer it then. Otherwise, I'm so easily distracted. We'll remember. <laughs> yeah. Write it down on your, on your pad of paper, Hugh. We'll remember. Yeah. Lisa says, maybe they'll turn a berge into Gaston's Tavern as could use uh, some Beauty and the Beast representation. That mm. is true, Lisa. However, the thing is, it's technically in the castle. So I think they'd really struggle to put Gaston in the... Because it's in the cloisters of the castle, isn't it? So I can't see that turning Gaston. I think it's more likely that if, the, <laughs> if they're going to do... Turn his hand to anything. Uh, beauty, beauty and the Beast. If you're going to do off-the-wall characters like that, they're more likely to do it in regal view than they are do anything with Auberge de Celendrion. Do you agree? I think it's quite... It's yeah. branded, isn't it? It's yeah. branded. Uh, unless, of course, that would be all, the, all the rumours of, uh, of fan- fantasy land expansions all come to fruition in the coming years and then they decide to make changes. Oh, yeah. You never know. That's you true. never know then. That's true. I want to remind everyone at every step of these conversations that we know nothing. We guess a lot. We know absolutely nothing. We, we've been talking about this subject for a long time, so we have educated guesses, but we've no inside knowledge. But that would be my take on this situation. I just want to ask Dan what he's having for his Hello Fresh because uh, if it's anything like me, it'll probably be really inconvenient because he'll have garlic all over his fingers <laughs> right now. <laughs> when did Dan Right now. He's cooking Hello Fresh and watching the show. Faye agrees that the Regal View <laughs> has a Tiana feel about it, Tiana look about it. I'm sure that's what they said when they first. Uh, announced there was going to be a restaurant on the uh, on the well Adventure Bay as it's now called. Mm. Mm. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, um, they'll be there on the double. Emma Sylvester says, uh, "I never understood why it's Cinderella's restaurant in Sleeping Beauty's castle." Do you know what? I have never thought about that. Just because it is, all right. Jeez, how true is Get that? Get off the backs. 
Good point, good point. Right, so let's take <laughs> ourselves to Adventure Bay now. No, we didn't hear anything about the other two lands that are planned around Adventure Bay. I'll get that out right now. See, I'm what just we... getting... I've been Paw Patrol in my head every time you mention it now. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I have never watched Paw Patrol. Whenever there is trouble around Adventure Bay, Ryder and his it's team right of pups the will always song. save the day. Is oh, yeah. The theme song? Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a lot of kids singing that. Disney. Yeah. They might have to change that name. Disney did. Um, but surely, yeah, some, someone somewhere is going to have a legal challenge with this. Mm. We have an official name now for what we've been calling Arendelle, and that is World of Frozen. <laughs> so whoever said that they thought they were going to keep putting everything to be worlds, I think, you know, it's looking right, isn't it? Because this is another world. Um, They're called Imagineers. Imagineers. That's the name of the people that have come up with these titles, I these know, names, I know. these places. I don't, I don't know if Imagineers have come up with their names. I think the Imagineers might try and then the boardroom people yeah, get in the way. Sounds a little bit... Like corporate, corporate thinking, yeah, yeah. It's also I, I like it Ooh. when sticky glaze to Lumi. <laughs> says Dan. Just for any, again, anyone who's not currently in the chat, that's what Dan is having for his Hello Fresh. <laughs> it's not just Hugh's like ex- exclamation of surprise. <laughs> Ooh, sticky glaze to Lumi. There you go, Chris. <laughs> I'm um, really enjoying myself tonight. Can I just say that? The only ride that they've confirmed for the world of Frozen is the Frozen Ever After ride. Mm-hmm. Only one. Mm-hmm. So I'm a, this is the second thing. I said there were only two things I wasn't happy about. I was happy about everything else. And it's that. Because it's it's a fine ride in Disney World. It's a fine it, ride. It's fine. We might have um, it's concept art. Chris, ride. Chris. We might have concept art of um of World of Frozen. On oh, okay. Oh, 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 that means I have to do something, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> Stop Sorry. singing. I really had to run. That was teacher voice coming out then. <laughs> Will you concentrate? So this is the Epcot ride. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be. Which hurts my back. Yeah, it's also it's a strange one because the reason it exists was oh, it sorry. was um a hastily done retheme of what was it called? Uh, Maelstrom which mm-hmm. used to be the old Norway thing. So like the track ride, they were kind of stuck with it and then they built a ride around it. It's the fact that they're now replicating it here. I'm hoping it will be enhanced Unique. and that they will rethink the track a little bit um, because we know that we have the best versions of all the rides. We have the best uh, Pirates. We have the best Big Thunder. We have the we best do. Small Phantom World. Manor. We have the best Small World. So hopefully... We'll get the best um, Frozen Ever After as well. But I was hoping for, hoping for a new original ride. But never mind. We've known it hasn't gonna, isn't going to be that for ages, though, haven't uh, we? I know, I know. But I keep hoping, just like I'm hoping that it won't be Lion King. But it, imagine the what side. Lion King rides will be like, though. Can you imagine? Do it's... you think it'll be... Be prepared? Do you know all that bit? I don't know. That would be good. I, I would imagine it would be In something the elephant to do, graveyard. It'll be Hakuna Matata... Style um, boat ride involving like small world type characters dancing about and falling Ooh. over. I want that could them, be really good. I want but, them to yeah. have a Lion King tapas restaurant and have ah. Hakuna Patatas. <laughs> it would... Hakuna Patatas Bravas. Yes, I would enjoy that. Um, oh my God. <laughs> there's, you, you get to the world of Frozen by going over a swivel bridge, which will open twice swivel. a day to allow barges for on the lake entertainment. I presume that's the nighttime entertainment will require those barges. I'm not just going to stick barges in the middle of the lake and leave them there for people to see. Yeah, like, the day. A, <laughs> like, a, I saw. like at Epcot. Yeah. <laughs> Hilda enjoyed me parenting, Chris. I, I have to do it more often than you'd think, Hilda. Uh, praying for Pandora. I thought she meant the bracelets then, Sugar Sweet Samantha, because we've already got those. You want Pandora in Disneyland Paris? All right, all right. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be sad about that because it is an excellent land. However, I like it when we get original things. I got told to stop whistling on the show last week because I, I keep making it like music comes into my head and I can't help myself. But then I totally distract Lucy when she's trying to talk and and do things. Yeah. But so, I can't help myself. It's also that I am also <laughs> easily distracted. I think between us, our our brains are quite difficult to tame. <laughs> Makes it fun though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, John Park says, lots of viewing areas for the nighttime show. He is hoping for Fantasmic. Mm. I love Fantasmic. Um, they need a mountain for Faz- Fantasmic, don't they? What about something of our own that's original though and better than the other parks? Isn't yeah. that what we like? I mean, we've it's done, we like, we've done well so far with the drone things. I like it when they do nighttime shows on Tower of Terror. And unfortunately, I think 
that this will mean they won't be doing that. But yeah. there you go. Oh, just on the the better than thing, what's what's ride is better in the studios than it is anywhere else? Tower of Terror. Slinky Dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I can't remember which one's... No, I prefer Tower of Terror in Florida, actually. I so, think it's got to be more of a ride. So that reputation's in, in the Disney, Disneyland Park, isn't it? It's not in the studios at all. Yeah. And if you think about... Uh, Avengers Campus is a straight was a straight lift for Spider Man Web Adventure. We've um, got Flight Fast and they haven't, but I don't think we're overly proud of Flight Fast. No, and Hugh, which is which is better, Rock and Roller Coaster in Paris or Rock and Roller Coaster in uh, what they call it Ooh. studio in the what's it called that park? I can't remember the name of it. Brain's gone. It's hard Hollywood, to um, it's hard Hollywood, to you know, no, whatever it's called. The, Hollywood <laughs> studios. They're very similar. So the same track? I think. I don't, I don't know if they the same track, but um, in, in my mind, it's pretty much the same. But again, yeah. not better than though. And no. especially, especially not since it's Fly, fly better, Force. Better, uh, equal probably. Ratatouille is the same. Yeah. Now, Katia has said Slinky is better in Florida. Well, <laughs> I mean, that kind of goes without saying, but I don't really class them as the same same yeah. ride. One's, yeah, <laughs> ours is a kiddie ride. Yeah. That just goes round in a loop. They Although haven't got Bond RC Racer though. Agrees. It's fast. They don't have RC Racer though. RC Racer is great. Mm. I like it. Uh, yeah. Crush's <clears throat> Coaster is better than the Nemo ride at Epcot. Again, come on. <laughs> the Nemo ride is like a very slow dark ride. <laughs> um, barges sound like harmonious. Uh, Emma says, "I the fact that they're going to open and close the bridge makes me think it won't be like harmonious, thank goodness, because that was... A traumatic time in his in Disney World history. Won it. Won it. Um, right, that's every, that's everything I've got on the re-theme. However, However. there's more. So I'm just going to keep going because there's a lot. Um, <coughs> the Witching Hour. So there's a new nighttime show that's going to be on the, the roo- roofs or roofs? Roofs. 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 <laughs> Roofs of Avengers Campus. Oh, actually, like, no, you, you, you did ask. You I did, did ask. ask. Yeah, it was, yeah. I retract the ding. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be on the roofs of Avengers Campus later this year. It's going to feature Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange. Huh. Um, so this this is interesting. At this point in history, to be introducing a nighttime show of this kind that is apparently the, the show calling it a nighttime spectacular hmm. compared to just because they have roaming characters up on those roofs all day, don't they? Yeah. Um. So I think it's going to be quite a big thing. It's interesting the choosing to do that now. My theory is they are wanting and managing to turn this into a full day park instead of a half day park and having per, number one parades and number two nighttime spectaculars are two things that keep people in because they are time sensitive so it's just kind of getting people into that habit ahead of them opening adventure bay they also this this studio one's going to be sure it's going to be chaos around there anyway they need as much additional entertainment as they can at the moment to keep the park viable in its current format i think as well what if this park becomes better than the main park could you imagine and then they have to do something to the main park. <laughs> it's, do you know what? With Avengers Campus and one thing or another, we spent an astounding amount of time there last time we visited. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still won't say it's better than the other park, but we we just we found a lot to do. There's, there's plenty to do. There just isn't really places to bimble around, is there? Like there is in the other park, and that's th- that's what's missing from it for me more yeah. than anything. It's not. I know the rides are a bit underwhelming, some of them and everything, but it's not It's not that. There's just not enough of other stuff to do. So if they pack out a bit of that, you know, they get the, the London Park thing in there, that'll be a nice place to go and spend some time. That's and it, walk through and, yeah. and just things to look at. Yeah, it's so much yeah. to like, you stop and take photographs and just enjoy, just enjoy being there. Yeah. I wonder how big the world of Frozen is going <clears> to be. Because it feels like it's going to be huge, but then I, I, bet it's, I bet it's underwhelmingly small. Oh, yeah. Um, is this something we can... It's shop- not going to be Galaxy's Edge size, no. which is a real land. It might be like Toy Story land size. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Pla- Plaza de Remy. I think it'd be bigger than Plaza de Remy. Because that's really just one building in a U shape, isn't it? And we know from concept art yeah. it's bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not promising no. anything. I'm just thinking, I think. Yeah, maybe. I think it'll be more like Toy Story But if land. you look at the the stuff that's been built at the moment, the the pictures of all the concrete and stuff it's it's not small small is it it's a no. reasonable size but 
I don't know. I guess we'll see. <gasps> so exciting. Yeah. Um, and then while we're talking live entertainment, we also have an opening date or a premiere date, I suppose, for Alice and the Queen of Hearts back to Wonderland. <sighs> My God. Right, go the, on, Chris. The marketing for this. Have you seen stuff online? It's insane. The, the Mad Hatter walking around with security cameras at the entrance to, to the uh, studios and uh, the bit of the music that, they, that they've played of them singing and stuff. It's just, it's, it's so far from anything Disney ever. It's yeah. just weird. It's, it's just so full quirky. stop, 100% weird. I love it. Yeah, that, that, I don't I, dislike it, but it's just weird. John said what I was about to say, it's so French. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's, it really is. It's that weird kind of, uh, you know, ironic French sense of humour that people don't get, but is also hilarious. All the it's, marketing feels like, you know, the bits in between the songs when, in, during Eurovision when they go to the country yeah. and there's someone doing something a bit weird. Yeah. It's just that. That's what, well, what it's all like. It also feels a bit, and I know <clears throat> this is French-Canadian rather than French before anyone corrects me but it also feels a bit Cirque du Soleil you know when you see the, yeah. the clowns in Cirque yeah, du Soleil not the acrobats the clowns it's got that kind of like quir- quirky arty feel to it yeah um, but but at the moment from from what we've seen of it you can't you can't tell whether it's going to be like high scale super professional amazing stuff or just some guys who who set up a group in the local town who are, who are trying to make it in the big world it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just, yeah, it's, it's really strange. Really, really strange. <coughs> Faye says, so how does that fit into the world? Um, this <clears throat> this show, I mean, that's a question, isn't it? Uh, love Alice, but the new show doesn't fit. Better to have an Avengers show. I I presumed all along that's what yeah, they were I going to do. Yeah, I thought they would have done that. I also, I meant to look on the concept art, see if we could have clarification about where the entrance is. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago I was going, they can't have the entrance to this in Avengers Campus. So is it going to be around the back of Tower of Terror? Tower of Terror, I think it'll have to be, won't it? I think so. Or coming off, I'm trying to get the names right, Adventure Way or something, but that's not going to be open on the 25th of May. Anyway, we don't have long to find out. No. 25th of May is 40 days. Do you know how I know that? two days before we go to Disney and we've got a countdown. Are you you going to Walt Disney World? We are going to Walt Disney World. Well, well. So, it takes a village. I'm moving on. There's so much going on. (laughs) We also got concept art. We have pictures of this. This should be the first one. Oh, no. No, it isn't because it's still on the previous one. Okay. Give me a chance. Um, (laughs) Of... Yeah, the updated village. Or oh, I forgot it. about this. <laughs> we were looking at the pictures of the interiors and they're just appalling. <laughs> so, oh, they're so boring. So, um, <laughs> the Disney star is going to be replaced by Disney Wonders. In a way, this is a bit sad because it was the last remaining Disney star in mainland Europe, wasn't it? So now we've only got we've got one in Dublin and one in London now. The Paris one has gone. Mm-hmm. Champs de Lisieux one has gone. Um, but did it really matter? I mean, what's the point in having a Disney store at Disneyland when there's that many shops? You know what I mean? So it's fine. So we've now got Disney Wonder with newly done facades. So this kind of um, cheap tinfoil 90s things have, got, have all gone that we used to have. And we've got these kind of landscapey things with twinklies. They've all got different styles. There's a big Marvel logo. Oh. But what I'm delighted about is the reusing the 30th anniversary yeah, sculptures. Yeah, I hadn't noticed in that. In the centre and all around Lake Disney as well. Nice. So they're sticking around. I could not be happier about that. I keep saying this, could not be happier. That's great. What else do we know? Um, Disney Gallery and Disney Fashion are combining to make one massive clothes and clothes accessory shop. Accessory shop. I'm split on this, right? Because my favourite shop in the village was Disney Fashion because they had the little, like, reclaimed vintage area and they had quite an up- upscale boutique area. They had a pyjama area. And I, 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 I buy things there. However, we would always go in Disney Gallery as a kind of museum. We yeah, would go in and we'd look, but we'd never buy anything. Oh, I did. Oh, did you? Well, yeah, I bought, I bought my... the the um, Disneyland castle picture. Oh, that's from okay. There. But that's only a print. Right. You order it and they got sent home. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I just feel they were probably not making as much money as the no, square footage not. was worth. But this is the kind of short-sightedness I always feel Disney get wrong and that 
it's sometimes you have to sacrifice that for the actual experience of the guests. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe they'll find somewhere else within one of the other shops to keep a lot of that stuff alive. Because, I really hope so. Yeah, I, I do as well. That was so good. I, um, John says, I wonder where they'll put the big castle model now. Mm. I mean, they've got to find somewhere for that. Maybe in one of the hotels. Maybe it would go in the newly refurbished Disneyland Hotel. Um, Jen agrees about the 30th anniversary uh, sculptures. I love those sculptures. God, they're using them again. Mm. Um, Disney Junior Fashion, that was the last one before Rosalie, is uh, being uh, changed to be Disney Home. So this is home wares and crockery and stuff. Your Primark stuff. Yeah. Which I think is fair. I mean, at Disney prices. At Disney prices. In yeah. the time we've been going, they've tried to do all sorts with that <laughs> shop. They keep changing. They were doing glass painting at one point. They've had it as a toy shop. They've had it as like a girl's princess dress shop. And it never stays one thing for longer than a year. They must have been struggling. And we all know Disney Homeware does well with the Disney mm -hmm. adults. Mm -hmm. Right. I agree. Um, Hugh said. Uh, when we were talking about the refurbs of the insides, he said, can we uh, pre-warn the listeners that I'm going to swear a lot about this? <laughs> but we forgot to pre-warn them, so we can't. No, I can't swear. So tell me about <laughs> the interiors then, Hugh. Uh, so, it's all kind of... How do you describe it? It, it all looks like everything's like just like laminate flooring, mm, just dull-coloured shelving. And then it never works this, does it? Pictures dotted around. I'm trying to show you, by the mm. way. Uh, maybe if you get really close. Really, really close. It is... I mean, the, they're not doing the thing they used to do where it was... Um, yeah, kind of. It's you know, in the old right. Disney store, they'd, they'd have massive uh, sculptures up top and it'd all be quirky and crazy and murals on the wall. This is all white and gold. It's extremely tasteful. Minimalist. It looks like a John Lewis. Yeah. Which is just it's, what you want. Your kids are going to love it. They're going to they're gonna be just... <laughs> So engaged by the brightness and the colour um, and the wooden so ceilings. Is, and I believe this one is Disney Wonder and it is shelves. I don't know what else to tell you listeners who can't see the actual pictures. It, it's square shelves. Um, look up the word soulless. Oh. <laughs> that should help you. Which Poor is actually Disney. exactly what Hugh wrote after I sent that picture to him. Soulless. <laughs> Yes, and I had to double check uh, that I was spelling it correctly. Oh, and that is absolutely <laughs> awful in block capitals. He also said that. <laughs> this, this comes from the theory of merchandising, that you, you're meant to let the product be the main event. That's the one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit further forward, yeah, zoom. Yeah, there we go. Good. Look at that. Hey. Excellent. So what we're looking at is something, it's got... Uh, wood panelling on the ceiling and uh, shelves. You know when that's the office that you, you work in um, decided to do a modern refurb of their refectory area? That's what it looks like. Mm. It's just... Awful! It's really, really awful. It's really awful. Yeah. They're hey. also... John has just reminded me they're also... I had so much news, I couldn't write everything down this week, but they are also redoing the sports bar, um, mm -hmm. getting rid of this kind of like manly pub thing and it's a little bit more it's kind of got booths and it's a bit lighter and a bit greener uh so All that right. that looks a lot more in keeping with um the theme of the rest of the village yeah if you like the theme of the rest of the village um yeah the blue flowers were imagination stars oh when they used to have those twinkly blue flowers we love those one more piece of news this also almost seems like nothing after everything else. But earlier this week, they had Disneyland Paris in concert by the Symphonia Pop Orchestra at the Newport Bay, mm -hmm. which was just a classical concert full of Disney music and park music with a Philharmonic, uh, sorry, a Philharmonic Orchestra of 60 musicians. I would have loved to have gone to this. Mickey was conducting. I saw mm. a video. Of Mm. It wasn't very good. <laughs> that was an event. Now, um, I've got some bullet points for myself. Like, if you've got time, talk about pins, bags, taps and apps. I have another piece of news, though. Oh, God, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. So, so Lucy's expecting me to go off on one now about something, but the news is this. It was also announced this week that Disney's electrical sky parade is getting extended until January the 6th, <gasps> 2025, which mm -hmm. means people like me who are going to miss out on it will be able to see it now. So that's really good. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. That is good. I, I'm i glad we want to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And quite rightly, it's <clears throat> better stir worldwide as the Electric Light Parade. I know that when we watch Disney World content and Disneyland content, they keep talking about Paris have got this show. Have you seen it? Mm. I hope it comes here. And it's not often that we get that kind of love coming that way. No, not so, at all. So it's really nice. Is the um, Disney Springs one going to be a drone show? Yes. Yeah. So Yeah. So we're going to see if we can see that. Although I'm sceptical about that. Right, I'd love to talk about that DVC um, thing for was it was it Gino? Yeah, you need to scrape off a uh, scratch off a, a country as well. I think today. I think we I need do. To do that we, don't, we keep forgetting. Um, Gina and Steph. Gina um, and Steph. Shall I talk about it quickly, or shall I, I tell them we'll talk about it next week? No, we have. We're very happy with our resale In summary, points. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, we have repeatedly discussed whether we wish we'd brought um, direct and we don't. We think the savings we made more than make up for the fact that we don't get the perks you get direct. I would have liked to have got an extra 75 points direct to get the perks, but they've increased the threshold to 150 and we ain't doing that. Oof, twice. Ooh. I know. If we if we get more points, we will twice get resale. Me. In answer to the home resort thing, we got Saratoga Springs. I only got that because it was the cheap, well, it was the most price effective. I won't say the cheapest. Um, but in actual fact, it's possibly our second favourite resort, isn't it? Saratoga Springs. I like it. And we weren't expecting that. We didn't buy it. Thinking, don't like horses, don't like golf. Yeah. But I still like it. We didn't buy it say, uh, because <laughs> we're like, this is what I want to own. We bought it because it was cost effective and we've fallen in love with it since. Oh. So and, and see, I think your question was, are you happy with these? Would you get more? In both of all those things, yes. Um, we could not be happier with being DVC members and this is our fourth trip on. I'm happy to answer more questions on that, but we are right at the end of the show. It was just a bad week for it. I'm so sorry, Gina and Steph. It's because, we, you know, because there's so much news this week. Ask me more next week if you want we, to. We do quite often talk about DVC and Walt Disney World on our Patreon show as well. So we if you do. actually want to, if you want, if you've got actual questions relating to that stuff, it's probably more relevant to that show than it is to this one. Possibly is. Yes, almost <laughs> certainly. So become become a Patreon member. Ask me everything you want. We will answer at length. But how would one do that? Right. Uh, you tell them. <laughs> Hugh will give me two countries. I'll scratch them off. You'll tell them how to become Patreon members. You want members. to become a Patreon member. All you need to do is follow the link in the comments. Uh, the in Netherlands. The comments, in the description at the bottom. And, uh, and Northern you Ireland. can become one. It's £3 a month. And uh, we do a, an extra 20 minutes after every show. Uh, where we talk about stuff. Sometimes we do quizzes. Sometimes we do Switzerland. film reviews. Sometimes we do Switzerland. Um, <laughs> yeah, and and that's what we do. I we're, think we're going to do a an open one maybe next week or the week after so you can have a bit of a taster and see what it's like if you want to come along and have an extra 20 minutes for once. Well, should we do Wish next week? Oh, possibly. I, I don't know whether I'll have time. Um, the next two weeks are going to be difficult for me because I have a lot of work commitments it's taking me to different parts of the world. Switzerland, actually. Ah. <laughs> Coincidentally, I just scratch that off the map. So, who are you scratching off? Sorry, I scratched off Switzerland and Northern Ireland. I also we hadn't previously uh, scratched off England. All oh, right, but I did so because I thought it was daft to not. Okay, so we're getting there. We are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Australia, are we do we do the whole <laughs> thing in one go? I said that I would do. <laughs> I'm doing America in states, but like Canada is that. So do I do Canada in provinces? Do I do Australia in provinces? I mean, how cool is it going to look when big bits have gone? We'd already scratched off the Netherlands. We'll judge Whitney. it on a case-by-case -case basis. I must have done you another another time and not realised. You're already off. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yes, Netherlands already gone, I think. Yeah. We've, we've mentioned it three times, I think, now, to do the Netherlands. And each time we've gone on, oh, no, we've already done it. Um, And Bob's in Malta. Do we get Malta on the list just because he's there? Yep. Yeah, get Malta on the list. If you That's how it, it works. Yeah. <laughs> Go on holiday somewhere interesting. You've got to tell us because it Malta. counts. We do right. have Australia written down here. But yeah. It just says Australia. That feels like such a frantic... I'm just going to scratch off all Australia. I think I we should. We've, we've had a couple of people from Australia get involved in the show and, uh, yeah. and have trips as well to DLP from us. 
That has been such an intensely jam-packed show. It has. We've only run over by four minutes because we rushed a bit at the end. But thank you so much for staying with us. We love to know your thoughts. There's so much going on there. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Tell us what you wish they'd announced. Um, And we'll we'll have a look through um, all the comments next week rather than chat about it now. Quick thanks from me to John, who sent through a bunch of stuff um, after all the announcements this week, um, which is really helped us kind of look through and understand what's going on and not just use DLP report for a change um, and also thanks to those of you who sent in trip reports as well um, I think we've got a couple at the moment um, we will get around to talking about some of those things as, as we move on but obviously this week's been a little bit mental a little, uh, bit, little bit on the on the busy side I also want to shout out the Main Street News because they did a really good YouTube video on all this concept art and I, I got some of my information from them so thank you very much the Main Street News and if you want some more, somebody a bit more scripted and concise go and watch them straight after watching us but if you're a Patreon Stick with us. We've got another 20 minutes to go. We do. What are we going to talk about? Lots of things. See you on the other Pop side. Music. I've been Lucy. These have been the boys. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I can mute the sound this time whenever I want. So I like it. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs>